that it does need to be there. So whatever bangs there, it goes straight, and your compass will go like a dingy, and then you just walk that direction. So, uh, you have your rotating, RT for short, bevel, BEV for short. So, we have three parts left. This one is pretty easy, because every single, almost every single human in the world has this. Except, instead of the last word being it is, it's not, it's not finger. It's, that is not a finger. <laughs> There's no finger in that world. Or word. Nilo? Is that an index? Yes. And what is that? An index? Uh, I wouldn't know. Looks like an arrow. Okay. What is this part? Is this... What is that? Just a line. What would you call that? There you go. So, what's the full name? Index line. There you go. Good job. So yes, this is called your index line. Honestly, I don't know why it's honestly there. I'm because it's like these two are the same exact things, but more or less this one helps you out with the map, I suppose, even though you have these lines. <laughs> um, can anybody tell me what these lines mean? These little like parallel lines that are on the sides of the pointy thingy. Alright. Oh, there we go. Do they orientate? Yeah. Getting there. They're orienteering lines. So I'm just gonna put OR and then I'm gonna put line. These are your orienteering lines. What they do is they provide a way of um a way of seeing where you need to go on your map, what path you need to take, and more or less where you need to go and how you're going to get there. That's what it's mainly there and used for. Aligning with your compass with the map. Pretty simple. Um, now, <clears throat> we have one last one. Barry? Isn't that just the needle that points? Yeah. That is the needle. That is the second part. Needle is the second part of this. The magnetic force. How do compasses point to the north? Besides Tom and Barry. Thickus. Magnetism. Good. So if you put the two words together, it's a magnetized needle. So I'm going to put mag, and then knit. <laughs> Magnetized needle. Basically, on a flat surface, it will do its spinny thingy and point to, uh, to north. Um, that's basically how it works. Make sure it is on a flat surface so then it can rotate correctly if it's not on the flat surface and you're going to be heading towards somewhere that you probably don't want to go to. Otherwise, does anybody have any questions so far with these parts on the compass? Because we are pretty much done with the compass. They were no, the sir. About it. No. no, sir. No, sir. Alrighty. Oh, mind if I add something, though? Yeah. Alright, so, um, I don't know if you're gonna cover this, so I'm, my bad, but, uh, if you guys ever took math, um, like, trig and stuff, this is, this part, uh, 36690, uh, uh, uses for triangulating your location. This is where it got, got the term, and I'm pretty sure he'll go over that pretty soon. Uh, if not, you'll learn that maybe another day. And also, um, whenever you're holding a compass, uh, sh hmm? Just go over it. Go over it. Go over it. Alright, so, um... Okay, uh, let me do that then. Um, I'm gonna use white and black on the other side, because we have a big-ass board, you know what I'm saying? But, um, essentially to triangulate your, um, your destination, because, uh, let's say you want to go to, like, Big MT in, in, like, some forest, right? 
So if you're if this is your current position and you need to triangulate your uh, area, you use landmarks on a map. You know what I'm saying? For example, um, I mean, this is why Google Maps is a great thing because you'll see um, if you're when you're wandering throughout the park and then you see like big famous rock number two, um, you can use that as a landmark because obviously when you're with maps <laughs> and sometimes your satellite doesn't always work so you just need to um uh, guesstimate and use maps so um you have big ass rock five again pretty fake stuff and then you'd see like um some pretty famous uh river you can use these to help triangulate your position um because uh using these two um and with your compass you can draw let me just steal this again. Uh, you can draw pretty straight lines to um, determine where you are. And um, using your compass again, you can de uh, determine the sort of angle you need to go from. And obviously, you need to orient your compass for that. So um, if you have two landmarks, this is very useful. And also, hopefully this sort of information will be helpful in your life if you ever go camping and stuff like that. Um, and you want to go to um, Big MT. Pretty... Uh, Piss poor uh, image of a mountain, but you know. Uh, that's how you really. That's a basic way of trans uh, triangulating your position. Uh, obviously, if you take courses, you go further into that. And um, when you're holding a compass, how should you hold it? Should you hold it like this? Hold it flat? What sort of thing? Uh, Guba, do you know? Flat. Now, um, anyone know why that's the case? <clears throat> uh, Kabe? Um, so the magnetic needle can spin freely? Exactly. Because if you hold it straight up, it um, gravity overtakes the magnetic force. That's, and when you hold it flat, it points um, towards uh, the magnetic fields at the north and south poles. Um, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Oh uh, yeah, that's um how triangulation